hello and welcome back to the channel a first caravan overview of 2022 this one is the Bailey Alicanto Grande Porto it's an 8 foot wide caravan as you can see here in its night mode it's got a fixed bed at the rear and a makeup bed at the front and this is it in its day mode where it makes a seating area it's a four berth on a twin axle. It's 7.862 meters long, eight foot wide, with an MTPLM of 1847 kilograms, MRO of 1687 kilograms, which gives you a payload of 60, 160 kilograms. As you can see, it's on the Alco chassis and Alco hitch. Alco ATC is standard, and this one has actually got the ultimate car jockey wheel. The Alicanto graphic along the front there with this standout extra large Bailey front window. Chrome finished grab handles or one piece. The obligatory barbecue point for those uh, sunny afternoons in the sun. Wet locker with an external electricity socket to the right there. Tasteful graphics. Large LED light across the top of the door there. High security door lock. Bin on the back of the door. Porto lettering on the side there. This one is actually fitted with the Abtex Wi-Fi system. Lovely diamond cut wheels. I do like these uh, diamond cut wheels. Really nice, really stand out. Nice and shiny. This rear locker goes all the way from one side to the other. So you can put parasols and things like that in it. And if you're a bit more adventurous and you went to Switzerland, you could pop up and put your skis in there. Same design grab handles on the back with LED lights on the back nice graphics up the top there I've always liked them since this range first appeared <coughs> excuse me and as you can see there it's got some fancy LED lighting we get to, I get to show you that in a second two little hooks there in the kitchen to put your tea towels on I do like the furnishings, the only thing I don't like is those curtains, the, the curtains, or what little there is of the curtains, I think they're just for show, I really do not like them. I don't know what you'd use this little cupboard for, I think it's to put your wet shoes in, but as you can see there's wires under there, whether you'd want to do that or not, I don't know. Um, handy little storage and display unit there with all your light switches. I think this is actually a USB charging point there as well. The TV points behind the TV. Another little handy little locker. With your Truma, I guess the Truma iNet system. I'd put my keys and things in there. Handy little storage cupboard. Control panel. It's fire and smoke alarm. See those? This, uh, really don't like those curtains but hey they don't serve any purpose apart from a decorative item which I, th I know in clear she'd want to have proper curtains that close your TV aerial, aerial in the all soft clothes with a, cam with a caravan of this price range you'd expect that your curtain stereo head unit and there's that very very large window units as the front is standard plenty of storage place nice tasteful colours on the wrap around seating area and cushions no place to put magazines you saw there on the wall now when it comes to this, this area here I'm glad to see that there is actually a bit of trim on the bottom of that because I remember when I first saw the Alicanto range if you spilt any water it would have gone straight underneath the glass 
and then down onto your seat in which it doesn't know. As you can see here, there's a little control panel for this LED lighting. So you can change it to whatever mood that you're in. I think with the colour scheme of the van, I think probably the dark yellows maybe, but the blue seem to uh, stick out a little bit, but each to their own. I'm not too sure whether I'd use that work surface to, to dry my plates and cutlery, etc, etc. There's a couple of sockets there, a couple of light switches. Now I think this doubles up as a chopping board, as you can see on the back, I think that's a chopping board. That was quite heavy that. As you can see I had to juggle to get it to sit in. Again, a mixer tap, nice graphic backsplash with the Alicanto Grande letter in there. Huge amount of storage. Nice microwave with its rounded edges there. And the obligatory Thetford separate oven and grill and the dual fuel hob which you wouldn't expect any less of a van of this uh, price range the L-shaped kitchen there with other storage I don't think you'd want for much more storage than what that is all nice nice and gentle closing and Bailey do like a wine rack and then you got this fridge that and freezer that opens on both sides. I do like that so I'm right handed, Claire's left handed so that would be great for us. Another storage locker above there. Right, so I think I go straight through into the uh, little wardrobe there on the right hand side just before you come into the bathroom area. Yeah, I walk straight through. The only reason why I did that is because of the, the size of me and the, the, the limited space there is there. I think even with that bed pulled out into its night mode, there was still plenty enough room for me to walk around and now I'm a big boy. Now see what I mean about these curtains. They just seem to hang there. They don't serve any purpose whatsoever. Your grill for your Audi heating. More storage. TV point with TV bracket, 12 volt connection, 3 pin as well. Now here's these wardrobes either side the bed, even you know, more wardrobes. I think I'd bang my head on that shape side to be honest with you when I sat up in bed. Overhead lockers, light switch and another 3 pin for a little lamp as shown there. Now, either side the bed, there's this like little little bin as well that you can put bits and bobs in. Part of the Aldi system there. Header tank, I think it is. Another grill for the Aldi heating. Sliding door that separates the bedroom from the bathroom there, or shower room, I should say. shower with the uh, roof light and clothes rack for drying wet clothes. Decent sized shower with a mirror in there so you can look at yourself while you're shampooing your head. Not in my case, shampooing went out the window a long time ago. So you can close that door to the living room, two hooks on the back for towels etc. Into the toilet room, Thetford flushing toilet heated towel rail and a window. Apparently Prima Leisure will send you the kit to frost that window out. I think it should have been frosted from the start. Some people say different, but I think that I think a bath a shower room window should be frosted full stop. Decent sized sink with a mix tap and a massive mirror. And another hook on the left hand side there. I just think that mirror that window should be frosted, but that's just my opinion. There is a blackout blind, but even so. Storage under the stink sink. Loads of place there, you can roll towels up and store them under there as well, so... Storage isn't an issue. 
I'm having to back myself up into the bedroom to be able to close that door. And there you go, there's um, quite a nice feel to this caravan. I, 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 think, I, think, I think I quite like this one. So I think I turn around and sit down now. Massive skylight as well, extractor fan. Not too sure about those LED lighting. But I'm, I'm sure that's a bit of fun. Like it, love it. I think you'd spend the day messing with it though and end up breaking it. There you go, I've sat down now just to give you a, a feel of what it's like. Spotlights, your speakers there. That big window is something, isn't it? Kind of flares out at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's your Wi Fi booster. The Avtex receiver on the roof. I must read up on that to see how that works. Now, this is one thing I wanted to show you about with this caravan range. If you look down the side of the van, the windows sit really flush. On most caravans, they, they sit proud and look they're like bowed, aren't they? So, which I don't think I've ever seen a caravan with flat windows like that. So obviously this is your offside, you've got all your service points. There's that locker on the bottom left there that goes from one side to the other. Your gas locker, your Aldi vent, and then you've got your power in and your water pump connection. It's a very, very nice looking caravan. So there you go. If you're not subscribed, please consider it. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, if you found it useful. There's a few more to come in this little mini series from the NEC. So, like I say, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.